Hello, I'm doing this video for the 2011 Software Freedom Day at Zamboanga. Uh, let me first introduce myself. My name is Dak Salomon Mami and I'm a software developer here in Baguio City. Uh, I really wish I could join you guys but uh, I can't. Well, at least I made this video. This way you'll know that um, I'm there with you but only in spirit. <laughs> So, I'm currently employed at uh, Beneco. It's the counterpart of uh, Zamzelco back there. And I'm here to talk about my experiences and history with free and open source software. So, back in 2002, uh, I got my hand on a copy of uh, Red Hat uh, 7 or 9. But back then, I kept on switching back and forth to Windows, Windows to Red Hat back to Windows. But in 2005, I switched to Ubuntu full-time. Uh, I have it installed at home, my laptop, and uh, here at work. Back at home, uh, my six-year-old daughter uses it. My wife, as well as my grandmother, also uses it. So we're practically a family of Ubuntu users. Here at work, uh, I actually created a couple of uh, programs. Uh, two of them uh, are web-based applications. Uh, and the most notable is the Outage Management System. It's a PHP application running on uh, LAMP or Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Uh, it, would, it allows us to log uh, customer complaints as well as power interruption. And based on those uh, records, we could automatically uh, create, you know, reports required by NEA and ERC. So, uh, my second project here at Beneco uh, is the distribution systems loss. If you're following the, uh, you know, electric industry in the Philippines, you'll notice, you'll, you'll, you'll know how important that is. Um, Okay, let's move on to my personal projects. Uh, I actually have three I'm working on right now. The first one is I'm open sourcing our outage management system. This way, other distribution utilities such as Zamselco could use it. Uh, this way, they don't have to rely on uh, record books or or Excel or even uh, you know Microsoft Access. It's uh, <laughs> So that's uh, that's my first uh, personal project. My second is the I'm working on an uh, a front end for Gamu. Well, you see, Gamu is a utility that would allow you to communicate with your cell phone. You know, basically uh, enable you to send and receive uh, SMS as well as make calls using your desktop computer. So that's my second project. Uh, my third project, uh, it's actually an RSS leader or a planet uh, feed uh, leader. It's an alternative to planet. If you log on to or if you go to planet.ubuntu.com, you'll know what I mean. It's practically similar but uh, without using Python. Uh, so I guess that's it for my experiences. So now let's move on to, you know, uh, I encourage you, I urge you to participate with us, you know, join us. If you have time, try logging on to irc.ubuntu.com. Uh, you could find us at uh, ubuntu-ph. It's an IRC channel. Uh, most of us are there, idling. <laughs> and uh, if you're an, a web guy, if you're a web guy, you could try visiting UbuntuForums.net. Uh, you'll notice that there's a sub-forum dedicated to the Philippine team. Uh, come on and join us. Uh, meet uh, fellow Filipino Ubuntu users. Um, if you're a student, uh, you know, try going to PortableApps.com. You'll notice uh, uh, there's a lot of applications there. There's a lot of uh, free and open source uh, programs out there. Uh, those portable apps programs would enable you to run your program use on a USB stick so there's no need to install uh, the files goes with you if you you know have it installed on your 
USB disk. This way, if you switch from one workstation to another, uh, you'll still have your, you know, uh, program and your files with you. And um, also try uh, LibreOffice and OpenOffice. It's an alternative to uh, Microsoft Office. It's it's actually good. I use it all the time. If you're a graphic designer, uh, I urge you to try GIMP and Inkscape. Uh, those two are uh, pretty uh, nice programs. Um, if you're a developer, dude, why don't you try using a um, couple of uh, open source IDEs out there? Uh, there's NetBeans, uh, there's Eclipse. Uh, try using open source frameworks such as, uh, you know, Cake PHP. Uh, Symphony, Code Igniter. If you're using Python, try using uh, PyQt or PySide. Uh, if you're a C++ programmer, try using uh, the Qt framework. If you're a Java programmer, try using SWT or uh, Jambi. <laughs> Those are pretty nice. And uh, if you're an animator, you could actually, you know, create games, create 3D games using Blender. Uh, there's a friend of mine, Aviel Cruz. He actually created this uh, 3D game. It's called Kin Kiranayan, Kinarayan. And uh, it, you'll notice that uh, this game is on par with other Korean games out there. <laughs> so that's it. Um, try joining us. Uh, you know, visit the IRC channel or the Ubuntu Forums channel. If you want, you could uh, also follow me at uh, uh, my name is uh, Dak Sumaming at Twitter or Identica. Uh, you could follow me from those two, two websites. So I guess that's it. Let's uh, wrap it up. Uh, <laughs> so happy Software Freedom Day to you guys and uh, goodbye.